What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. You're on S Motorsports. Today, I picked up something special for the Trans Am. So like I said, I picked up something special for the Trans Am, as you probably already know from the thumbnail. I picked up a new 6.0 liter LS Gen 3 that I'm gonna build over time. I'm gonna start a new build series on the channel for the Trans Am. Right now we got the 350 small block Chevy in there, but uh, I think we can do a little bit better. All right guys, so this is what I picked up. I still haven't even unloaded it from my truck yet, but what I got is a 6.0 liter. It is a drive by uh, wire, which I don't know if I'm gonna keep that or not, probably will, um, but it is, uh, it's pretty crusty to say the least. So um, that's part of the reason why I got it so cheap. So I got this engine, all the accessories, <clears throat> all the accessories on it, I got the uh, torque converter even. Um, the wire harness is cut, so I'll have to do something there. But I got all this for 200 bucks. And then literally the guy was like, hey, cause I was kind of like, uh, wasn't sure <laughs> because I wanted to make sure it's a uh, decent block and everything. Cause it is locked up. Um, he threw in a 5.3 for free. So this one was missing a head. Um, as it got ripped out, but my buddy wanted this for uh, the iron block. So um, I might end up using the rods if I need them or not out of this one. So it's good for parts anyways. Um, but I got all this for 200 bucks, which is pretty sweet. Um, hopefully we'll find out here if I bought a paperweight, uh, junk or not. So let's get to tearing this down, see what it looks like on the inside. All right guys, so I got the engine on an engine stand. I have been soaking it for uh, a day with some penetrating oil, but let's start getting this disassembled. I'll start disconnecting the harnesses and just taking off what I can. Um, and let's check out and see, dive into this thing and see if I bought a piece of junk for 200 bucks, probably. So I got the first head off. Um, this would be the uh, passenger side. And honestly, it looks pretty good. Let me grab the flashlight. It's really not that bad. Like, I guess that's that's the worst part, but it, it looks like, I mean, doesn't feel pitted. It feels like 
surface rust on that one. Um, this one looks really good. I can't see that one yet. This one, it's not that bad either. I mean, it looks just like surface rust, um, something that would be able to be cleaned up. Uh, nothing catastrophic at this point. So let's keep going and get the other head off. The hard part is just getting the uh, exhaust manifold bolts out, trying to do it slow. Try and minimize how many I break because I already broke a few. It's gonna happen. Well guys, got the other head off. Um, and, oh, there's the problem. Yeah, this back one's got some rust. But honestly, it looks mostly like surface rust. It's not, it doesn't look super pitted. So I'm still honestly kind of hopeful that um, we're gonna clean this up, maybe scuff some of the rust away because we are going to dingo ball hone this uh, engine. Um, so I'm hoping that honestly, I, I feel like that might clean up because that's, uh, it's really not that bad in terms of uh, pitting or anything. It's, it looks mostly like surface rust. All right, guys, we are back. It's a few days later. I got a little antsy and kind of forgot to film. And I got the engine. I figured out what's wrong. And uh, let's see, we'll show you that right now. We got two back pistons out of it. Whoa, what's this guy? She looks a little, little bent. She's bent in uh, both directions there. But this was on, would it be a seven cylinder? So I'll show you what we got. This is what the number seven cylinder looks like. I showed you that before. Honestly, I'm hopeful that it's gonna clean up. Uh, we'll see. The rest of the cylinders don't look that bad. Um, once I got this uh, rod and piston out, um, which it did come out relatively easy once I got the rod cap off, came out, then the engine spun free. So this was obviously the one locking it up with it being bent. Um, the crank and everything look fine. I don't see any damage. And honestly, the rod um, bearings, they don't look uh, bad either. I don't see anything that, that screams like something was amiss. It wasn't spun or anything like that. Um, it, it just got bent. So um, either it hydro locked or there was enough rust. They tried to do the starter. It bent the rod and then it was game over. Um, because when it did bend the rod, it did contact the piston uh, right here. You can see the crank um, and took a, a chunk out of that. Um, and so I think that's what really, you know, obviously that kind of locked it up what, with a bent. It couldn't, it couldn't move in that direction for sure. So, um, that was the issue. Uh, I got the engine free. We got it figured out. I'm going to work on getting this cleaned up, maybe painted. Uh, I got to get it obviously broken down a little bit more, but we'll get it, uh, taken down the rest of the way, get it cleaned up. And then we're gonna be starting to get ready to put it back together already. I mean, so my goal is to get kind of a short block assembled so I'm ready to go. Obviously, um, I gotta start collecting more parts um, as I got them all scattered here. Obviously, some are gonna be reused. This is not gonna be reused because it's not gonna fit. But the engine block obviously is the main part. I'll get this all cleaned up um, and get uh, all this taken out, get the cam out. Obviously, we're not gonna put in the same cam as with the LS build. The cam is your big item, so uh, stay tuned to see what I pick for that. Um, but otherwise, I'm hopeful that we can get this cleaned up. We're going to uh, do a mechanics honing process on that. We'll see how that works out. Probably really good, maybe not, we'll see. But uh, you gotta stay tuned to find out. So that's it for today. Uh, I'm gonna call it for that episode on the LQ4 engine build for the Trans Am. So if, you're, if you like this build and you like this kind of stuff, make sure to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned as we're gonna build this up together. Um, I'm, I'm excited to see how it turns out. Give this video a big thumbs up as there's gonna be more uh, episodes in this build series. So you don't wanna miss that. Thanks for joining in and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.